Hey guys, welcome back to Scanning the Mind. My name's Sanjay, I'm a psychiatry trainee in the UK. And I'm Bro I'm a radiology trainee in the UK. One of the questions we always get, well, we get quite often from medical students or people who aren't doctors asking about what radiology is or kind of what radiologists do. You take the photos, right? You just I get, take I get the photos. that a lot. Yeah. I get that a lot. You, you take the photos, right? <laughs> so I'm, I'm just like, yeah, I take the photos. <laughs> so we thought we'd do a video about the top misconceptions people have about radiology as kind of a specialty and as a career. So by the way, guys, these questions that he's going to ask me, I genuinely don't know what they are. Yeah. So uh, yeah, go ahead, mate. <laughs> what, what, what do you think about radiology? So one of the things I definitely used to think, and speaking to you over the years, it's kind of change a little bit because I know a bit more about your work okay. but I always used to think radiology is sitting in front of a computer nine to five and then going home and that's it that's all you do all day okay interesting so yeah that's a very common misconception mm. I mean if you want it to be like that it, it can be like that to a large degree but that's quite uncommon now so take you through a normal week for example as a diagnostic radiologist a, a lot of them do procedures, okay? Yeah. So a lot of them will do, you know, eat, head and neck radiologists will do FNAs of the thyroid glands, mm -hmm. so fine needle aspirations. A lot of the diagnostic guys also do drains and biopsies. Okay. Um, so, you know, that's at least a day or half a day a week. Let's say a day a week. Hmm. On top of that, you have ultrasound lists, obviously dealing with patients then, hmm. uh, and people helping out with lists as well. On top of that, a big part of your work as a radiologist is MDTs. So you're in this big room with surgeons, physicians, yeah. physios, etc, etc, and you're all discussing discussing cases. Mm. Um, and then you yeah, obviously have your reporting time, and even within the reporting time, you have on-call sessions where you're reporting all the acute scans for the hospital. a &E is ringing you, a &E doctors are coming in, surgeons are coming in asking for opinions, yeah. physicians are coming in saying, I'm not sure about this, what do you think is going on? It's quite stressful, <laughs> but it's a very dynamic and sort of team-orientated environment. Okay. And even when you're on your non-on-call reporting session. Yeah. Most hospitals now have moved to a situation where you're in a big room with like 20 computers and everyone's reporting the same room. Mm -hmm. And you know, some places have music playing, you can exchange ideas, you can ask for advice on scans, people have a little break and have a chat with each other. Mm -hmm. You think, oh, we've got five minutes, could you go grab a coffee? It's busy, but it's very, you know, like I said, you're working in a team. It feels like you're working in a team. Okay, cause I, yeah, I can't remember the last time I was just sat in a room by myself reporting because one of the other things i always thought of radiology was that it was quite lonely and you just kind of were doing your own thing and everyone was just doing their own thing no so i th in fact i would argue radiology is because i i thought that was my one big sort of apprehension about entering radiology because okay. i'm quite a social person i was like oh am i going to find it lonely mm -hmm. i think it's been more sociable than being on the wards well, okay on the wards you know things are so chaotic and most interaction with, with the patients yeah whereas here like i said you're at the very least sitting in a big room of radiologists. Yeah. Clinicians are coming in and out. You know, for the most part, people get along really well. Mm. So it's quite a nice environment. There's a good opportunity to make friends and get to know your colleagues quite well. Beyond that, like I said, you know, you're in MDTs with the surgeons, physicians, etc. You're doing ultrasound. We even do clinics, believe yeah. it or not. Um, so yeah, I did a clinic the other day. Oh. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that must so, have been a big change. It was quite cool. I quite reminded me of being a FY2 again. <laughs> um, but yeah, so for example, interventional radiologists, we do our own clinics hmm. um so bring the patient in consent them for the procedure explain the procedure oh, answer okay. any questions explain why we're doing it write a clinical letter saying you know this is our plan it's a full clinic even breast radiologists do clinics they do breast clinic oh fine so yeah it's definitely not a lonely environment yeah i would say that if you enjoy interacting with patients more than your colleagues yeah it's probably not the one way to go okay i feel like i get to know my colleagues way better in this job mm. than i would potentially on ward jobs and i guess with ward jobs because it's so short staff there may meant to be three people on a ward but yeah. there's just one of you then you're just exactly. handing things by yourself aren't you? exactly yeah exactly yeah. so yeah exactly not not lonely so you've kind of mentioned this already but one of the things i personally didn't like about radiology was I always thought that you kind of give up seeing patients and it is very much you're either doing something practical or you're just looking at a screen. But it sounds like maybe that's not the case. Yeah, no, like I said, if you want a minimal patient contact, mm. you can choose that, that's fine. Okay. If you want a lot of patient contact, you can choose that as well. Like I said, if you're a breast radiologist, you do clinics. You see them in clinic, you decide, oh, you need a biopsy, you do the biopsy with the patients. Yeah. Explain the results sometimes and mm. you know, so on and so forth. Again, if you have a lot of ultrasound lists, talking to the patients, explain why we're doing it. Talk to them during the scan, often they have a lot of questions, understandably. Mm -hmm. Answer those questions, talk to them about the management plan afterwards because they want to know what might happen next. And you can give them an idea of saying, you know, at the end of the day, we're going to send you back to the surgeon or physician. But usually this is what happens. 
uh, in my experience, and they're, they're happy with that. Okay. In interventional radiology, like I said, we see our patients in clinic. Even beyond that, you know, let's say I've got a full intervention list one day. You come in, you can set the patient, do the procedure. Most of the time, they're awake during the procedure. Mm. So, you know, that is patient interaction. It's, yeah. Because fair enough. I never realized that was as difficult as it is. You know, I've only just recently started doing interventions. So trying to put patients at ease when you're doing a procedure that you've consented yeah. them for, and some of the risks you consent them for are relatively serious. It's, it's a skill that takes getting used yeah. to. Yeah, and they are awake when you're yeah. doing yeah. whatever you're doing. And then obviously afterwards you're going to explain like, oh, it's a successful procedure. Yeah. You know, your limb is now revascularized or whatever. Mm. So there is definitely a lot of patient interaction. But yeah, if you want a job where you don't see patients, you can put that to a minimum. Okay. Um, but it's kind of up to you. So I already know the answer to this one. Okay. But one of the misconceptions I had was that anyone going into radiology was always kind of an introvert and just a bit antisocial, and that's why they wanted to do radiology. Yeah, yeah. But you're not really like that, and it sounds like the people you work with aren't really like that. I'm not that. <laughs> Don't talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, um, I that again was along with you know being lonely. That kind of ties, which was a big apprehension yeah. of mine before going to radiology. That tied in with thinking, oh my god, like, mm. what are these people going to be like? Yeah, <laughs> they're just normal people. Um, in fact, they're very sociable. Okay. I don't think I've ever, maybe one or two, maybe I've met, you know, three years in radiology, worked across multiple hospitals. Mm. I think I've met one or two who were the typical, don't talk to anyone. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I mean that's quite, and it, you know, everyone knows who they are. And I think you'd find that in any specialty, wouldn't you? One yeah. or two people that just kind of keep to themselves. Yeah, exactly. For the whole part, people are quite uh, very sociable. People are always up for meeting up after work, going for drinks. Mm. Especially if you work in a hospital which is, you know, in a town centre somewhere, yeah, bars definitely. and stuff nearby. You go out for drinks afterwards. Recently we had, uh, so I've moved to a new hospital. Mm. Recently we went out for a meal and in event they came home at 4am. Uh, my wife wasn't very happy because I was supposed to be home at 8. <laughs> yeah. She wasn't very happy. But yeah, you know, they're, people are just, they're just normal people. Yeah. I think for the most part, they're actually very sociable. Mm. The thing I like about radiology is it's an interesting mix of people. Mm. Like, generally speaking, obviously, I'm generalizing here, but when you go to well-known specialties like surgery or, you know, I don't know, cardiology or whatever, it attracts a certain type of person. Yeah. Obviously, I'm, you know, I'm generalizing here, but I feel like in radiology, every single person you meet is so different. Oh, okay. Why do you think that is? I think it's because you're not drawn into radiology from medical school. Oh, uh, So fine, if yeah. you want, you know, if you're a medical school, you're like, I want to be a surgeon. You've not been building this persona for six you, years. You've been building this persona of, I'm a surgeon, I'm a surgeon, yeah. for six years, and it kind of molds people into this, this sort of character. Well, I think radiology, no one really wants to do radiology because you don't know anything about it. There's no first year medical student who's like, yeah, I want to do radiology. Yeah, I want to do radiology. Yeah. Like, no one knows anything about it. Yeah. And then slowly but surely, people from all these different walks of life think, oh yeah, this I like I like this part of radiology and I like this part of radiology. Everyone likes a different thing about radiology. Mm -hmm. And so if you like just pure diagnostics, mm -hmm. chances are you're going to be slightly different to somebody who just loves pure intervention. Yeah, true. And there's going to be people all across that spectrum. Mm -hmm. So that's what I like about it is like, I was saying this the other day, I was like, in my hospital, there's like, you know, let's say 20 or 20 registrars. Yeah. Every single person is so different. That is just a bit mad. Yeah. Um, I quite like that. Fair enough. Well, yeah. you clearly enjoy being a radiologist. Yeah, I mean, it's so. great. Best job in the world. <laughs> yeah, not even joking. It's so good. I saw a medical student the other day. He's like, how are you finding radiology? I was like, mate, it's the best job. <laughs> and he said, you're the best doctor I've met who's been enthusiastic about your job. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy, he's probably been to like surgery and medicine and everyone's like, yeah, mate, it's all right. He's already spoken <laughs> to med reg and he been like, I hate it. It did make me laugh. He's like, you're the best doctor who's been enthusiastic about their job. Oh, it's so sad, isn't it? <laughs> it did make me think a little bit sad. Uh, but yeah, hopefully the radiologist now. Yeah, you know. He's the only med student in his med school going, I want to do radiology. <laughs> He's that second year. Like, yeah, I want to do radiology. <laughs> Shout out to you. <laughs> well, that was a really interesting one because I think it opened up a lot of the bits about radiology that I didn't really know about or had some misconceptions about. I think mm. it did explain a lot to the people watching the video as well. Yeah. Hopefully, I've cleared up some misconceptions. Hopefully, mm -hmm. there's a lot of people out there who now want to do radiology. Yeah, you never know. Um, yeah, huge workforce crisis. Easy to get a job. Yeah. Please apply for radiology. <laughs> if you want to know more about why Varun's doing radiology or how he got into it, we'll link our video up here somewhere. Oh, yeah. Anyway, guys, yeah. thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it and hope some people want to do radiology now. If you have any questions, pop them down below. If you want to see a similar video about psychiatry, have we done one? I think we did one a while ago, but if we've got questions and stuff, we can definitely answer them again. If there's any other videos about psychiatry or radiology you want to see, then let us know. Uh, apart from all of that, we will see you guys same place, same time next week. Cool. See you later.